September 11, 2001, two American airlines loaded with 20,000 gallons of jet fuel crashed into the World Trade Center, New York City. American airline flight number 77 with a crew of 6 and 53 passengers crashed into the Pentagon, Washington, D.C. United Airlines flight 93 was hijacked by four individuals and it crashed into the field of Somerset country, Pennsylvania. All these terror attacks happened during the George W. Bush administration. 2,977 people were killed, 19 hijackers committed murder-suicide and more than 6,000 were injured. Now, let's see who is behind these terror attacks. Saudi Arabia is the largest country in the Middle East and the richest too. For Islamism, Saudi Arabia is a saint country and this especially because here is the birthplace of this religion through Prophet Muhammad who was born in Mecca, the most saint place in the world for Muslims. On 10th of March 1957 in the city of Riyadh, Saudi Arabia, Bin Laden was born. He was the 17th of 52 children born to Mohammed bin Laden, a Yemeni immigrant who owned the largest construction company in the Saudi Kingdom. Osama bin Laden did his degree in civil engineering at University of Jeddah. When the Soviet Union invaded Afghanistan in 1979, bin Laden joined the Afghan resistance, believing it was his duty as a Muslim to fight the occupation. He relocated to Peshawar, Afghanistan and using aid from the US under the CIA program Operation Cyclone, he began training Mujahideen, a group of Islamic jihadists. After the Soviets withdrew from the country in 1989, bin Laden returned to Saudi Arabia as a hero and the United States referred him and his soldier as freedom fighters. By 1993, Bin Laden had formed a secret network known as Al-Qaeda, defined as the base, comprised of militant Muslims he had met while serving in Afghanistan. The jihadist flags, which are generally black, are meant to represent the battle standards carried by Muslim forces. The Shahada, written in white on the black background, means there is no God but Allah and Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. Soldiers were recruited for their ability to listen, their good manners, obedience and their pledge to follow their superiors. Their goal was to take up the jihadist cause around the world, righting perceived wrongs under the accordance of pure Islamic law. Under bin Laden's leadership, the group funded and began organizing global attacks worldwide. By 1994, after continued advocacy of extremist jihad, the Saudi government forced bin Laden to relinquish his Saudi citizenship and confiscated his passport. Bin Laden began executing his violent plans with the goal of drawing the United States into war. His hope was that Muslims unified by battle would create a single, true Islamic state. In 1996, to forward his goal, Al-Qaeda detonated truck bombs against US-occupied forces in Saudi Arabia. Bin Laden's actions abroad did not go unnoticed by the Sudanese government and he was exiled from their country in 1996. Not able to return to Saudi Arabia, Bin Laden took refuge in Afghanistan, where he received protection from the country's ruling Taliban. While under the protection of Taliban, bin Laden issued a series of fatwas, religious statements, which declared a holy war against the United States. By 2001, bin Laden had attempted and often successfully executed attacks on several countries using the help of Al-Qaeda-trained terrorists. Second May 2011, President Obama announced that bin Laden had been killed in a terrorist compound in Abbottabad, Pakistan. In an eight-month plan known as Operation Geronimo, enacted by the President and led by the CIA Director and American Special Forces, SEAL Team 6, bin Laden was shot several times.
Osama bin Laden was buried in the North Arabian Ocean.